Hey everyone, what's up? It's Dion Pro Pro here, and in this tutorial you will be learning HTML, at least a little bit of it. Before I get started, I would like to say that you can use any text editor you want. I'm using Notepad++. It's free, and it's for Windows. If you're using Mac or Linux, pretty much any text editor will work. Um, if you don't feel like downloading anything, even the, the original regular Notepad on Windows will work. Let me know in the comments what operating system you guys use. Alright, so anyways, we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to be referring to these symbols as left arrow, as you see here, and right arrow, as you see here. They are very, very important. So first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to tell the browser that we're going to be using HTML5. So it's going to tell the browser to use HTML5. How we're going to do that is left arrow, explanation mark, capitalize this word, doc type, and then type in lowercase HTML. Then we're going to close it off with a right arrow. Go ahead and save this document now. I'm going to be going to my website here. Save it as index.html. All right, so now um, on Notepad++, it's, been, it's telling the program that we are using HTML. So if you go to language, go to H, you'll see it, well, it's HTML. All right, so now you just want to do left arrow, HTML, right arrow. As you can see, it turned blue if you're using Notepad++ or any other uh, programming styled note or text editor, then it'll pretty much do the same. It'll turn a certain color. So what you want to do, if you're using the regular notepad, by the way, I won't do that. But um, it still works nonetheless, so don't worry. If it's not changing color, if you don't see all these other symbols that's on the screen, don't worry about it. It's okay. So, you know, like this little minus thing, which hides in all the numbers here. If you're using regular notepad, it will not change colors, but it'll still work. So we're going to press tab to uh, kind of create that little spacer thing, and we're going to do left arrow head, right arrow. Now we're going to tab that out again. Left arrow title, this sets the title of the page, where you see up here where it says about blank. That's going to be where the title's at. So my title, and then second title. I call it second. I refer to the slash arrow as second. That's what I'm going to be referring it as. So left arrow, second, whatever you just did here. So title. Next, we're going to do left arrow link rel equals, and in between quotes, style sheet. Then we're going to do type equals, in between quotes, text slash CSS. Then we're going to do href equals, in between quotes, style dot CSS. And then right arrow. What this does is it finds the file style dot CSS. Now, it's going to be finding it inside of the folder of the exact same directory as this, index.html. You can, however, if you have the style sheet uploaded already, you can link it saying HTTP, use, uh, not YouTube, um, mysite.com, and wherever, wherever your style sheet is uh, located. But in our case, it's going to be located in the same exact folder as index.html. So we're just going to type style.css. Um, go ahead and save that. And second, oops second head. So that's ending off the header tag. See this is the title tag and it ends off the title tag um, after we have our title. The uh, link that doesn't really need one so the header has it's a tag thing so we have to end it off. Now we are going to do left arrow body in the order that you see here kind of pushed to the right. It makes it a lot easier. About two spaces down we're gonna end off the body tag by doing second body. And then we are going to do second HTML. All right, so now that we got this here, we're going to save it, and I'm going to run it in Google Chrome. So you can see where it says up here, my title. Now we're going to be adding some content. So you can do some text, and if you want to line break, if you, for example, okay, if you tried line breaking in a text editor, you save this, you'll see that it's not going to line break. If you want a line break, you have to do left arrow, BR, right arrow. That line breaks. Another way to line break is, if you see here, it's not going to work. Another way to line break is to do P second. And what that does is it's basically a paragraph. It starts and ends a paragraph. That's going to be all for this episode. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, and I'll see you guys later.